So one of the number one benefits of the procedure that we're gonna be doing, which is like a jawline contour, is helping to alleviate some of those symptoms of pain and pressure when you, you have TMJ, and also giving a more contoured appearance. Hey, it's Carly, and today I am in Greenwich, Connecticut to get jawline filler. Will it be worth the time, the money, the pain? Would I recommend it to a friend? Would I get injected again? I don't know. Let's go find out. I am visiting Dr. Nichols today because I just want to get this jaw worked in many ways. So. First off, I grind my teeth like crazy. I wake up with headaches, stiffness, and that's been something since I was a kid. So I want to try masseter Botox to release the tension there and just, you know, hopefully wake up with less headaches. And then speaking of my jaw, I also want to just get a little bit more structure here. So that's why I want to try out jawline filler. We're working every possible thing on this jaw because it is tight and painful and a little too soft for me, so I just want to bring a little bit more structure. I've been looking into this for a while now. I see so many videos on social media about filler, especially jawline filler, and getting that that look, that sharp look. But um, yeah, I'd say for the last year, I've really been interested in trying it out. So today's the day. There's just a lot of stress that I hold here, so I'm looking for that to be released and also to have just like a little bit more definition. Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Nichols. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm the owner of three practices, one Nichols MD of Greenwich, the other Skin Lab of Harbor Point in Stanford, Connecticut, and our third practice, our newest one in Fairfield, Connecticut, Nichols MD of Fairfield. So the procedures that we're talking about today are number one, we call it on our website, Botox for facial slimming, and also jawline contour, which involves a little filler that we place into the jawline to get that more lifted contoured appearance. Hi, I'm Carly. Hi, Carly, I'm Dr. Nichols. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so excited. Oh my God, okay, so I have so many questions. Okay, tell me, shoot. Okay, so first of all, what is jawline filler? What's masseter Botox? Like, what is everything? So jawline contour is when we use filler, but not to kind of get volume. We use it actually to, you know, give definition. And so it's injected back here in the jawline and it really helps to kind of smooth the jawline, make you look contoured. And then we also use Botox in the masseter. So the masseter is this big chewing muscle we have back here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like TMJ, for instance, is when you, I don't know if you have it, but a lot yeah. of people do, when you, you know, kind of grind at night. Yep. And it can actually make those masseters not only sore, but also get bigger, mm -hmm. which can make your face look a little bit more square instead mm -hmm. of kind of more tapered. So using some Botox back here can help to slim them down, and it also helps with the symptoms of the TMJ. And how quick does everything set, or like how long until you start to see results? Right. I mean, it usually takes about a week for any kind of swelling to sort of calm down, but the swelling is usually minimal, if anything. Okay. And then it actually even gets better over the several weeks after. Love that, okay. So I tell patients about a month out is when, if you have like a big event, yeah. that's when you should have it after this. Dope, okay. it's gonna look perfect. I'll like schedule a wedding or something. Yes. <laughs> what is the cost for both of these treatments? So like anything, it varies depending upon, you know, what city you're in or what region. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're in, we're in the Northeast, yeah. you know, New York City, so it's gonna be usually about, you know, depending, about a couple thousand dollars. Okay. But again, this is something that can last a year, yeah. year and a half, so it's not something you have to repeat all the time. Yeah, amazing. All right, Carly, I'm super excited, so let's get started. Yes, let's do it. Yay. So first, my assistant has already kind of disinfected the areas around your face, so we're ready to go. And then I'm gonna want you to bite down really hard, and that's gonna help to kind of push the muscle out. And you'll see now that I'm gonna do just a few injections right here in the masseter muscle. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Ooh, awesome. that one was... Spicy a little. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have you lay back more and we're gonna actually do the jawline injections. So now you see I'm gonna actually mark out the jawline area with those three little points and really kind of right there in the angle of the jawline. And first I'm gonna start with just a regular needle and do a few little injections there. And then when I come down, just to kind of smooth out the area, I actually use something that's gonna be, it's called a micro cannula. And a micro cannula allows me to make just like one little hole there and then I'm gonna just use a longer 
needle that doesn't have a point, and that allows me to safely kind of smooth that area out of the jawline. Well, Carly, we're done. I think you did so great. How was it? That was so easy. I mean, I've done way worse. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like you did, you did yeah. great. So things to expect, we're about to ice you. So okay. Emma's gonna come around. We'll ice you for about five minutes or so. Okay. Make sure that you're all cleaned up and ready to go. Okay. But things to remember in terms of what to expect. So one would be that what we talked about, which is you know having a little soreness in the jawline, mm -hmm. usually for about a few days up to a week, especially trying to avoid things that are like, would make that worse. So. Okay. We, eating hard candy or apples, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you know, tonight I would say sleep on a pillow, not on your face. Okay. Um, just because, you know, if you sleep on your face, you can have a little bit more swelling the next mm -hmm. day. No no heavy exercise today, but tomorrow you can go back to your exercise routine. Okay. And really, you know, that's about it. Um, but of course, you know, we'll be calling you tomorrow to check in on you. Mm -hmm. So if anything comes up, you know, we'll answer all your questions. But otherwise, okay. I think you're gonna do great. And like I said, the results are gonna come in even better. First a week, and then even by about a month, it's gonna be really premium. So I definitely wanna see those after photos. Amazing. I feel really good. I was expecting a lot more pain. Was a little worried about the needles, but there were only like two moments where I was like, oof. Dr. Nichols was amazing. She talked me through every single step. I felt like she was just very delicate. Like, truly, I... I think back to all the other injections and shots and things like that that I've gotten in my lifetime and that was the easiest, lightest touch ever. I'm excited to see what everything is gonna look like and feel like in the next few weeks. Um, really hoping that I will wake up with no pain from clenching and grinding my teeth all night. That is something I am very much looking forward to, but yes, stay tuned. It's been a few days since I got my jawline contour and masseter Botox. First of all, my jaw is so loose. I love it. I haven't been waking up with headaches or anything. Like, it makes such a difference. Oh my gosh. Like, that's immediately something I will do again and again and again and again and again and again and again. The swelling has gone down, finally. Um, I do still have like bruising, which is surprising just cause I never bruise. Um, but you know, it happens. Yeah, but I'm excited like over the next few weeks, we shall see what happens. <laughs>